My name is Jonathan Bradley. I'm a current graduate of McMaster University, uh, and I graduated in 2008 with a BA Honors in Political Science. After I finished classes after my fourth year, uh, I got on a plane and I went backpacking in Europe for six weeks. Uh, and so now that I'm back, I'll be uh, sort of working for the summer, but I'm mostly looking forward uh, to September where I'll be pursuing a bachelor's degree in law at the University of Windsor. First of all, I have to say uh, my time with experiential education. Uh, throughout my four years at university, I, uh, I took advantage of all of, of what that office had to offer. Uh, in my first year, I had taken part in uh, um, the course 2EL0. I also uh, took part in the job shadowing, where I job shadowed uh, the president of a local union here in Hamilton. Um, and in my second and third year, I had uh, held part-time jobs on campus that uh, were notated on my transcript. And in my fourth year, I took part in a special course that enabled me to uh, work for the city of Hamilton and then write a research paper uh, that counted for 100% of my mark. So it was an independent course that uh, really helped me you know, develop my skills at researching. And uh, I think also my, uh, in academically speaking, uh, my fourth year seminars were really important for me. Uh, that was where uh, professors engaged uh, my classmates and I in to you know, deep political thought and you know, some excellent uh, conversations that we had there over a lot of different uh, topics. And so that was another area that I think was really important. I think also I should say my extracurricular activities at McMaster really uh, helped me uh, develop different skills, skills that you couldn't necessarily find in the class, specifically you know, leadership and team building, um, but also communication as well. And so I've been, I had been involved a lot at McMaster and I'm happy to say that I, you know, I can leave my mark at McMaster while at the same time building some skills. Well, I think first of all, um, with my degree in political science, there's a real focus on communication. And so written communication and um, you know, our presentations, oral communication is very important. And so um, I have you know, worked on that for the past four years and I found that there's been a great improvement um, you know, with a social science degree. Second of all, I would have to say um, you know, my research skills um, have, have improved because of my degree. Um, and, you know, knowing where to go and knowing how to access certain resources. Um, and I think those, those two are really important, not just for, not for one particular career. Now, I myself am interested in law, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's restricted to that. I think the best thing about the social sciences degree is that uh, it's not limited to one particular field. These skills that I've been you know, uh, working on for the past four years are transferable to so many different careers. I'm choosing law because that's what interests me the most. Uh, particularly with law, communication and research are very, very important. Knowing um, what resources are available for you uh, is really important to sort of know before you sort of get into the real world. Uh, and the best way to do that, I think, is through experiential education. There are so many resources in EE and you know, just to, to be in that office and to, and to even know that the staff and other faculty members that work um, there is really important and that there are have so many different ways they can help you uh, find, find out what your, where your career path can take you. Um, I had mentioned, you know, job shadowing and, and um, 2EL0, which are really important. Uh, but just getting FaceTime in there and, you know, seeing the resources that are on the wall or talking with some of the staff members there to see what's new in the office I think is really important. I also think it's important to do what you love because I think if you do what you love no one can hold you back and I think you'll ultimately be satisfied. <laughs>